YouTube. It's Eric here uh, from Eric Flight. Uh, just doing a follow-up video. It's my first video there. Um, when I said that I would show you how I hook up my headset to my computer, um, there's this excellent product out there. But first off, let's look at the headset for people that don't own a headset and don't really know how it plugs into the plane. All right. So this is a great beginner headset. Uh, it's the Faro, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it's the Faro G2 headset, okay? Uh, it's got some volume controls here. It's a great headset. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where uh, you can help me out in the channel by uh, buying this headset on Amazon. Uh, it helped me out. And uh, yeah, I actually bought this used though. So I found it on a, a pawn shop website and uh, I haggled it down. I got this set, a headset. It looked brand new, honestly. $100, couldn't go wrong. Beginning student, um, yeah, it's just an excellent product. I've had no problems with it. But anyways, let's get to what I was originally gonna say. Um, these are the two connectors on a headset for a general aviation plane, okay? You'll see that you have two different connectors. One is thinner, which is the right one right here, and you have one that's thicker. This one on the left, you might recognize more as like a microphone input, uh, just a big stereo input. And these are stereo, however the plane's going to be a mono. So, the little one is for your microphone and your communications, and the big one's for listening. And on this headset, it has a switch for either mono or stereo. So when you're flying with your PC on your simulator, you can do stereo, but when you're flying in the plane, you can go mono because, let's face it, it's not gonna matter then. You just wanna be able to hear aircraft control and everyone calling around you and stuff. So now that we've discussed the actual plugs that are on a usual general aviation headset, and they are different for different types of aircraft. Uh, helicopters have their own uh, plugs. Uh, really depends on, on, on what you fly, so, but, these will work in the Cessna 152 and should also work in the 172 if I'm not mistaken. So, this is how I hook it up to my PC. This great product by Pilot USA, and their website is at www.pilot-usa.com. They make a bunch of adapters, uh, not just for, you know, um, aviation headsets to PCs, but they make like, a bunch of different like just headset you know um, adapters from like helicopter to general aviation etc etc you can go check it out we'll leave a link in the description but anyways this is model PA-96 which is used to connect the general aviation headset to a PC and so it comes with two types of cords it comes with your inputs for your headset, you plug your headset into this. This is just like the plane. You got one bigger hole and you got one smaller hole. The smaller uh, diameter um, input goes in the small one, big one goes in the bigger one. And then the other end of this, because you has two outs, the other end of this just has basically your standard PC input for the speakers. And then it has a red one for the microphone. So basically it just takes your headset and turns it into this. And that's how I recorded that last video, and that's how I, I fly with my headset if I'm going to do it. It makes it more realistic. Um, even though I have surround sound on my computer, which I still like to do for once in a while, I'll take the headsets off and I'll just fly without them. But it does give you a lot of realism, especially if you're flying VAT sim, which we'll talk about later on in another video. But if you do online air traffic control, you could just talk normally through this. You know, if you have the yoke, you can assign a button to, to do the communications like that. But anyways, that will conclude this video. Just a really short one on, on how you hook up your headset to your PC. And again, I'll leave all the links in the description. Um, it is kind of expensive. I think I spent either 40 or 50 bucks for this. But for me, it was worth it because I'm trying to get, you know, practice in for my private pilot license. And uh, yeah, it's just great. I mean, you can even just use your headset if you just want to not have your stuff being broadcast out loud uh or your wife <laughs> if you're watching honey i love you uh if your wife just doesn't want to hear the sound of the plane drone on and on in your flight simulator um you can just do it yourself 
So that is how you hook up your headset to your PC.